Hello everyone. This time I'm going to show you how to create a fast concrete in Substance Designer and we'll use it in a later video to uh, create a shader in DAS. So let's go right into it. I'm looking for something that resembles this. So using the black and white spots three is something I think would work. Now let's try to uh, make it more interesting making it interesting is a warp the non-uniform directional warp grayscale and connect everything in the warp so now you're able to mess with the warp angles etc to your heart's content. If we connect this to the material, it might look a bit strange, but let's give it a shot. So, Go down on Metallicity and pump up the roughness. Uh, not bad, but we can do better. Let's add a blur HQ grayscale and Let's see what we can do. Uh, pull down the intensity a bit. And now we're getting closer. Let's make it a bit more harsh. And to color it, We'll use a gradient map and pick the gradient from the reference picture. Uh, let's give it a shot here. Uh, could be more dusty. That's better. Okay, and now make it even rougher. And here we go. Doesn't look bad. It won't work if you scrutinize it when doing extreme close-ups, but this material is supposed to work in the background, in uh, a wall, a road, maybe as a texture for tiles, etc, etc. So, here you go. Less notes. Let's get rid of the ones we didn't use. And as a short bonus tip, I intend to use displacement, even if it's farther away from the camera. Uh, the displacement looks good, but displacement in DAS needs a good normal. So let's pump up the normal 
and you should see a difference in the material. Let's go back one more time. It's subtle, but believe me, it will work. Let's export it and I'll see you later in DAS.